Now, after the release of the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, KCSC results, students embarked on securing places in limited universities and colleges in the country, even as numbers of those who have grades below C plus increase. More than 200,000 students in the 2019 KCSC scored C minus and below, and the question arises whether there is any hope for future for students who have failed. Our reporter Dickens Levanda visited some of the students who failed in their examinations to see whether they have any good prospects for their future and prepared this for us. Every parent expects their child to come home with a good result after a school term. A good result assures them that their enormous investment in the child's education is valued and likely to bad returns. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes, parents must deal with their children's unsatisfactory results. What is the best way to handle such occurrences? What about the child in question? What do they feel when they realize the performance wasn't satisfactory even to them? Definitely, they end happy either. During the release of the 2019 KCSE results, Education Cabinet Secretary Prof. George Magoham condemned the practice of celebrating top performers in national exams while at the same time jeering those who register low grades. Remove the myth that if you get marks which are below or below 300, then you are condemned. Who has told you that you can't get what you want? You have seen for yourself that we should go back and encourage those children. There has also been a rush to a few national schools, which it, to me looks crazy because all schools are producing good, good marks. Eh? So can we encourage those children with marks below 200 and even below to go to school and study without prejudice? and they will deliver themselves. While top performers are lifted shoulder high by cheerful friends and family, in some communities, guidance marry off girls who score low marks and send off boys to do menial jobs on grounds that they are disappointment and failures. According to Professor Magoham, this amounts to writing the children off as academic dwarfs, something that should not be the case as they can actually turn around their fortunes, given that every child has their own strength. 19-year-old David Washira is a perfect example of this. David was one of the 699,745 candidates who sat for the 2019 end of secondary school KCC examination. However, when the results came, he did not perform to his and his parents' expectations. Um, David Washira Kimaru. Um, I studied at Kavutiri Secondary School, Likoembu. Then I was Kiwanja Secondary School, a day scholar. I was a deep class in Kenya, and I was a deep class in Kenya. David, who is talented in art, tells me he is not planning to repeat secondary school but rather aims to pursue tertiary education by enrolling into a technical institution and chase his dream to be one of the best artists of his time. One study revealed that 22 of 24 talented performers, from chess players to figure skaters, were introduced to their talent domains by parents and to keep a talent glowing, a child must always practice it. It is more of luck for an orphan child to successfully complete secondary school education. Emotional and behavioral problems are more among orphans and other vulnerable children due to their exposure to abuse, exploitation, neglect, lack of love and care of parents. Sylvia Wedera's mother died when she was in Form 1 third term. The 18-year-old tells me how life became difficult since then, forcing her to stay with her elder brother who became the only hope for her to complete school. Luckily, the brother took over their parents' responsibility and paid school fees for Sylvia, who was among the 2019 KCC candidates. I didn't expect to get a B minor, but I got dropped by DC. I don't know if I'm going to get a job, because I'm going to get a job hard. 
Despite scoring 342 marks in KCP, her C plane grade instead of the expected B minus, she says, does not mean she is a failure and neither is she giving up. Aliambia tu tutajua Kenya nitafanya nikimaliza lakini kurudia. Eh, siwezi rudia. Nitafute kazi kwanza. Juto naishi na brother yangu. Obviously siwezi siwezi tukia na tuko wawili. Siwezi tukia jifinyilie pesa zote na mimi. Sasa kwanza nifanye kazi tena nitajua kwenye nitaenda. Nataka nifanye kazi nyingine hapo. Ah college ya insurance Silvia's friend Teresa Wanjiru also scored a C plane in the 2019 Kenya Certificate of Secondary School Education exams her story however is different Nikwa nikwa tarajia B plus lakini nikapata C plane since nikwa form 3 first term niligonjeka sana nilikuwa nakuja home hadi kuna sasa nilikuwa nimekio sindano ya kila wiki sasa ilikuwa inabidi nikuje home kila wiki Na narudi shule. The firstborn in a family of five says her mother motivated her after receiving her grade immediately after results were released. With support of her parents, 18-year-old Teresiam now plans to join a technical college to gain skills and advance her education. She also advises other candidates to stay focused on education and not to give up regardless of what they scored. In the 2019 KCC exam, 567,517 students scored below C+. Of these, 29,318 students got an E in the exams. For every student who scores whichever grade after secondary school exam, government says there is a cause for them to enroll. It is honorable to join TVET and come out and provide service to the people. Now you ask yourself, what services do Kenyans need? And you will find they are basically in the TV sub-sector. But for Francis Kamau, this is not the case. He wants to repeat and start from Form 3. But why is this so? I have been working on it, but I have been working on it. I have been working on it, and I have been working on it. I have been handwriting on it. I have been working on it, but I have been working on it. I have been working on it, and I have been working on it. I have been working on it, and I have been working on it. Come register on any already. So, as many would deform there. The third born in a family of five expected a B. A grade says he once again when he sits for cases in the year 2021. Niki Niki party your chance, a crude shule. Minta work hard too, son. So, as you could barely come let down. Jenajua Mr. Agusan. So, as you could barely attack the book fanya. I feel when you feel. According to academic experts, the consequences of repeating a class mostly include students losing self-confidence, feeling discouraged, bullying and negative peer pressure. Students who repeat a class tend to be more older than their peers, which eventually adversely affects their self-esteem. Also, students who repeat class tend to waste valuable study time. Some fail to meet their requirements. Having a D plus, a D or a D minus should not be the end of the road for a child because there are many competitive courses that could lead to a successful career. For Eugene Mwangi, the D minus grade he got after sitting for the 2019 KCC really angered his parents. But in any case, a child can always upgrade their education to the highest level step by step as long as they are committed to putting efforts towards streamlining their future. To me, that is not me. I need to do better than that. So my plan was to go back to start at Form 3. A KCC grade should never be a hindrance to being successful in modern times, especially after the government focused on the establishment of technical and vocational colleges. If a child finds the right course and put their passion to it, they will find it easy to attain contentment in fulfilling their dreams. And as a society, let us not sneer at and express all forms of contempt to the candidates who score marks and grades that we deem to be poor. To the candidates who score marks and grades. Every child, regardless of their gender, whether male or female, has a role to play in the society. So, let us not write them off from future academic excellence. Dickens Sylvanda, Hope TV. For sure there is hope. Let's now take another short commercial break here on Hope TV News. When you come back, we look at what is happening in business news. <music>